White gold. White for its soft, silvery hue and gold for its rarity and extremely high value. In these pools of water, the complex process of lithium extraction is underway. The metal has become a hot commodity in recent years as a key ingredient in laptop, mobile phone and car batteries. But it could soon be running short. There are around 80 million tonnes of identified lithium reserves globally. Chile, Bolivia and Argentina are the three points of what's known as the lithium triangle, possessing between them almost 47 million tonnes, just over half of the world's total. Next is the US with 8.8 .8 million tonnes and Australia with 6.3 million. Australia currently produces 46% of the world's total outputs. Chile, almost 24%, China, just over 16%, and Argentina, 7.2%. The electric vehicle sector has seen rapid growth in the last three years, with EVs tripling from 4% of total sales in 2020 to 14% in 2022. And lithium is a vital ingredient in their manufacture. Lithium ion batteries are lightweight and quickly rechargeable. China is currently the largest consumer of lithium due to its electronics and EV industries, producing more than three quarters of the world's lithium ion batteries. Some 10 years ago, we saw Chinese mobile phones break into foreign markets. We are standing at the same historic crossroads now. We see Chinese cars, electric vehicles on sale overseas. We also see that over the long years, China has accumulated many technologies and accomplished many results. And all this allowed us to reap the rewards. Shares in the country's biggest electric car maker, BYD, jumped by just over 200%, tripling in the first half of this year driven primarily by record sales. But a new report by BMI, a Fitch Solutions research company, says that the world may face a shortage of lithium as soon as 2025, with demand outstripping supply. Others say the deficit may not occur until the end of the decade. Either way, lithium is on track to become more and more in demand in the decade to come. Emre Boz, TRT World.